everyone. Um, if you're new here, my name is Lynn Nicole. If you're not, welcome back to my channel. I have a very special guest here today who you've met before if you've been keeping up with my videos. Hi. This is Joanna. Today we're gonna be doing kind of a different video than I usually do. Um, we will be doing a get to know me tag type video where I'm just gonna be like answering questions. Joe's gonna do it with me. Um, just so you get to know me on my channel since I've had like several videos out and you may not know anything about me. And we're gonna do it mukbang, mukbang. Mukbang style. Mukbang style. Um, so we got <laughs> Cheesecake Factory and basically we got a bunch of appetizers pretty much. Yeah, so, so I have, you have yeah. yeah, so I have the, the crispy crab bites as well as the zucchini fries. And I have the loaded tater tots, uh, which look more like not tater tots. Not tater tots, like little balls. But it's okay. And then I have spinach dip. And then you have your chips. Oh yeah, my chips. And chips look good. I'm yeah. gonna have to have some of the spinach dip in a little bit. Oh yeah. I basically compiled like several like get to know me tags to just come up with like 20 or 21 questions that I thought were like pretty good. I feel like we should take a bite first of okay. like our food. Good job. Okay. Woo! May I have a chip, please? Sure. Okay, Joe's gonna pull up the questions. Okay. We're gonna start with the first one. Okay, the first one's pretty simple, our age. So I'm 22. I'm 21. Um, you saw me turn 21 in my little birthday video. So what's your zodiac sign? Okay. I'm a Virgo. My birthday is September 17th. I feel like I'm very like Virgo-esque. Um, yeah, I was actually watching a video and like, of like Beyonce, cause she's a Virgo. Yeah, she is, number four. But like, I didn't realize that Virgos were very like, specific, like A-type. They I like think things a certain way. I'm definitely like and that. They, you know that. They, yeah, like they when they do stuff, like they want it to be like, they have all these like, visions yep. and they want it to be a certain way. Yep. And like if they don't, if it is in a certain way, they'll like go crazy. Okay, what are you? I'm a Leo and I was born on August 13th, 1997, but I'm actually adopted. So I don't really know. Like, I feel like, I don't feel like I'm a Leo cause I just feel like I don't have like the characteristics of a Leo. I think I could be a Pisces cause I feel like they're kind of calm. And- What, what is Pisces? I only know things about uh, like Pisces is in March, I'm pretty sure. I okay, I can see it was a March baby. Can you move the chips over here? We all need chips, chip hog. I didn't even have one piece of Did you really? No! <laughs> chip hog. Okay, so number three is, who is your best friend? But yeah, Shannon's my best friend forever, literally forever. She knows uh -huh. me like more than anyone knows me at all. Um, shout out to my college best friends, Tosin and Olisa, um, and of course my line sisters as well. Yeah, my so, best yeah. friend is Lauren. Not by choice, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, <laughs> um, and then I also have a best friend named Kevin. Shout out to Kevin. Relationship status, the good one. This is another one you guys also already know most likely. Yeah, so obviously everyone knows that she's taken. I'm taken, yes. Uh, yeah. Um, I've been in my relationship for two years now, which is just crazy, time has really flown. Um, my boyfriend's name is Kirkland. Kirk, love you. I'm single. <laughs> yeah. Let's move on. Next topic. I want a chip, I keep moving the chips. Sorry. Hold up. Yeah, just take them. Okay. Pets. Do you have any pets? You can go first. Okay. Yeah, I do have... Well, I had two cats. They're Calico's. I love cats so much. Uh, my one cat, Peanut. It's Peanut and Pumpkin. My one cat passed away, Peanut. But I still have Pumpkin. Okay, I also have a pet. Yes, his name is Reese. Maybe he'll make a little appearance later. He's a Keezen dog. Love him so much. Siblings. You have siblings! Siblings! This is actually very um, ironic because Joe and I each have a sibling and they're in the same grade. Grade, and they were actually friends when they were little, so probably it helped That's us. That's crazy. Friends, probably. 
I forgot about that. In some way. So I have an older brother. His name is Donnell. Shout out to him. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's three years older than me. Yeah. Yeah. I have an older sister, Leanne, but she's only two years older than me. We were gonna do this video like downstairs. With the table. I'm With sorry if you guys can't see the food the whole time. I'm really yeah. sorry. I'm a terrible muck, muck. Muck bunger. Are you a morning or a night person? I'm a night person. I'm literally up every night until like till the AM. Um, sometimes I'm in the library until like, I don't even wanna say, literally like 4 a.m. My record was 7.30. I was an all-nighter. I was writing a paper. 7.30 a.m.? Mm-hmm. Oh don't be like me, kids. Just wake up early. Be a, be a morning person and wake up early. I'm just not a morning person. Yeah, I'm not a morning person either. But I feel like college kind of forced me to be one because I take like classes that are like at 9 o'clock. Oh, so I, no. Yeah, I have one class. because I just transferred to a new school and my advisor like basically made my schedule so she made it to nine o'clock so i'm like great thank you she hates you on my other college i was studying biology i would literally i would be like a night owl and a like a morning person it was like i was forced to do both because no you you're forced to be up at all hours of the day and night favorite musical artist or song at the moment at the moment okay i'm gonna cheat because i'm not gonna say a musical artist or a song i'm gonna say playlist go on apple music and look up any artist that you really like and listen to their essentials playlist and they're the best playlist ever. So when I study, I always listen to Usher Essentials, Frank Ocean Essentials, who I didn't even like, I wasn't a big Frank Ocean fan. This was like, I didn't know his stuff that well, except like the mainstream stuff. But now I love like all the songs on that. Who playlist. is this? Frank Ocean. Oh, I don't think I know it. Um, who's my other person? Oh, and Chris Brown Essentials. Shout out to Chris Brown. My, I don't really have like a favorite, like, okay. My favorite artist, like singer, it's probably Ariana Grande. I just love her, I don't know why. Respectful. I love her like voice and I just think that she's grown so much as like a person. What is the last movie you watched? Last movie I watched was Aquaman. It was my second time seeing it. I watched it after Thanksgiving dinner, which was yesterday. Mm -hmm. But my last movie that I watched was actually Endgame. But I didn't finish it. Avengers? Yeah, because I went, my sister had Disney Plus. So what's a TV show you're currently binging? I'm a very big TV binger. I don't know if this, this is like half binging. I don't fully consider this binging. I'm catching up on Riverdale. Waiting for How to Get Away with Murder to come back. The season's so good. I don't know why they're canceling the show. I feel like I've been watching a lot of like Jersey Shore, like the, the original jersey shore really yeah because it's on hulu and my sister has hulu so i've been like watching like all the seasons it's actually really funny so what's your favorite food my favorite food mm -hmm. cheesecake factory um i didn't get my favorite food though because we just got appetizers but um, it's parmesan herb crusted chicken and then the sides are green beans mashed potatoes and then the cheesecake is oreo or reese's but at the moment i'm more into oreo i thought we we're doing like favorite food as in like like a single food so like my favorite food is pasta, oh, like spaghetti. Mm. But I guess if it like it was like my favorite kind of pasta, it would be like linguine and clams or something. Mine is like anything Italian. What do you want to be when you order? Doctor. I didn't realize that was a question. Well, let's make this like interesting. Say well, what are your majors? Let's talk about okay, okay. okay, you just said your major. Okay, my major is nutrition, but I'm trying to be a registered dietitian. I'm a public health science major. Um, but I'm pre-med, so I do plan on going to medical school after a gap year. And at the moment, I'm interested in psychiatry, specifically forensic psychiatry. But my interests like in specialty change all the time. So I don't think I'll really know until I'm doing rotations in my third and fourth years of med school. If you could do any, like any job, like it was really attainable and any and like anything you wanted to do, what would it be? Something with dogs. I'm with dogs? Like just taking care of dogs. Yeah. I'm like spending time with dogs. Yeah, dogs she loved, I, she wanted, you wanted to be a vet one time, right? Yeah, when I was little. No. Um, but I do plan on like when I'm older fostering dogs. <laughs> when I have my own apartment. I'm literally gonna have like 18 dogs. No, I'll have like six dogs at a time. God. <laughs> Open the door with six dogs and charging. I knew this guy in, in high school who fostered dogs. This is like one time they had six dogs. That's I don't know, I just, I just love dogs. I love dogs so much. Like, I, I think I just see the good in all the dogs, like every dog, like, really? not every dog, but like, I just love dogs and I just want to yeah. help them. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of fostering dogs um, yeah. when I'm older and then I'm going to have some dogs on my own. Mm. 
Yeah, like in a perfect world. And adopt, don't shop. Exactly, yeah. It's important. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, no, in a perfect world, I would want to be a zoologist or a marine biologist. Because I, I wanna... remember when you were interested in marine biology. Yeah, it's so cool. Like I love the ocean, I love the beach. And I just think it's so fascinating. And there's so, it's like, it, people kill, you don't really like them, but people kill like, you know, cephalopods, like octopus and stuff. And it's really like, they're so intelligent. So don't kill the squids, please. Or the- You eat them. I know, but I don't eat them. I eat them. No. It's kind of twisted. You're killing an intelligent animal. Okay, we eat chicken. And pigs! Pigs are intelligent! But I don't really eat meat. I don't eat pig, but... Pigs are very intelligent. Some of y'all out there. Idea of the perfect date. Like, I think going out to dinner is a, it's a good way to start, you know? A good restaurant or something, or you could do, like, something fun, like, um, go bowling. That'd be fun. So one of my, um, sorority sisters actually was telling me how instead of, like, her and her boyfriend buying gifts, they buy experiences. So like first date, dinner, movie. Once you like know yeah, the person, yeah, I thought we were talking like, about first very, date. Yeah, well, yeah, I think either one. Do yeah. like fun, like memorable things that like you would both really enjoy. So what's your oh, what's your phobia? My phobia is so stereotypical. <laughs> I am afraid of bugs, specifically. I'm not even gonna say spiders because my apartment was invaded by house centipedes. <gasps> Oh my god. And I had to fight them all summer, so... And you think I would get over it, but spiders are nothing to me now, because centipedes, literally, they would be like... Ugh. They would literally be this big. Oh my god! Like, I, they were terrible. Okay, so yeah, that, that, that leads, leads us into, into mine. I don't like centipedes, and yeah. like, I don't think anybody does, but specifically because of the movie Human Centipede, <laughs> I cannot with that movie, like, I just... It's an, it's an irrational fear, but it yeah. it kills me. It literally. Yeah, they're both. Like I mean, very rational. Fears. I watched the trailer and I freaked out. I didn't watch the whole movie. I didn't watch the movie. What's your favorite physical feature on yourself? Oh, that's cute. I like my nose. Really? Yeah, because I think it's like it's like small and cute. Yeah. No, that's. that's and then of course cute. my hair. Oh my god, your hair's amazing. Um, yours is too. I didn't always love my hair though. Yeah, she used to straighten it all straighten the time. It, and then I went But natural, I always thought it was pretty straight. But year then, college. yeah, now it's like natural and I like it like way better than this right now. Really? Oh, that's yeah, a lot. no, I do. My favorite feature on myself um, are my legs. <laughs> if you wanted to see. Yeah, my legs are like. Really? Long. I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah, they're like very long. Like they just make my entire like existence. <laughs> What is your favorite season? Summer for sure. I love summer so much. I love the fashion of fall, but I just love the temperature. I love being warm. My favorite season would be summer as well. I'm such a summer girl, it's ridiculous. Physical feature you're most attracted to. I like arms a lot. Like if they have like, it doesn't have to be super muscular, but if they have like a nice like arm, like strength, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, no, I agree with that one. Yeah, like arms are just like I don't know, they're just great. Was that? But also, I'm I'm attracted to hands as well. Hands? You knew that, right? You know what? Like, like, I don't know your. Like, I kind of understand that now. Like just like a man's hands, like they need to be like, nice, like muscular hands, arms. Like I'm just saying their whole body and smile. I think. What's the first thing you notice about a person? First thing I notice is probably their teeth. Really? Teeth or hands? I noticed their nose. Really? <laughs> nose burning. Yeah, like I. <laughs> nose burning. <laughs> yeah, I just like I like when their nose is like nice and straight and like symmetrical. Just yeah, like, like for teeth, I'm literally I don't know. I feel like you get like that once you have braces and you're just like you just pay attention to teeth. Last time you cried and why? Oh, that's why. Really like I don't know if you want to know my mind. Kind of depressing. This is sad. Yeah, I'm not gonna share mine. Okay, Joe's gonna play the fifth. I don't know if that actually applies, but last time I cried was um, <coughs> I was watching the first episode of Riverdale. Oh, it's so sad. I was watching the first episode of Riverdale season four, and the entire episode was kind of a tribute to Luke Perry, who's an actor who was um, like one of the dads in the show, and he passed away. Um, earlier on in the year so the, the episode was just very very sad i actually like 
started crying. Okay, so who is your celebrity crush? Luke James, I love you. I Luke love James? You. That's not the oh, country singer. I thought you were taking Luke Bryan. I was like, why? Girl, no. Luke James. You might know him from Star. I knew him from his first album. I literally, I forget how I first heard of him. But I saw Luke James when you were a little nobody and you performed at the University of Delaware. I was in like the second row, I was right there. You were singing, your shirt was off or open or some. My shirt's always off or open. But anyways, to cut it short, Luke James, if you ever see this. I don't think I have a celebrity crush. You know, I do really like Dylan Sprouse so. Yeah, I like him. I follow him on Instagram. <laughs> Yeah, what's wrong with him? Nothing. What's wrong with Nothing. him? I just wasn't expecting you to say that. I like, think he's so cute. I am learning things about you that I just <laughs> so Yeah. Show. Okay, so one item on your bucket list. Last question. Go to Cancun. I know it's basic, but I love. Really? Yeah, I want to go to like, or any like tropical island. I just, you know, I love the beach and everyone, ever since we went to Aruba, I just want to go back to a place that has like that kind of water like super clear yeah it's just beautiful i really want to like backpack across europe or even just like travel to different places in europe it doesn't have to like necessarily be backpacking but another thing is i took like an ancestry.com dna test yeah and i want to go to all the places on my test like yeah. specifically like the bigger places but like for example like I'm Togolese, which is um, a country in Africa. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the country is um, Togo. But that's just like one of many countries where like, <laughs> I, it's in my blood, but like culturally I know nothing about. So I just want to go and like travel to different places that I am like physically made from, I guess. We're gonna close the vlog out here. Hopefully you got to know more things about us. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed us watching us talk and eat. Talk and eat, talk and eat, yeah. If you like this video, um, like the video, comment, subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. um, if you like Jo, I will put her Instagram in the description box as well, so go check that out, she's really great. Um, and yeah, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye. 24-7-365 Right after me where I feel your sunshine